everybody, it's Diane. So I'm very excited to do a four flip and drag cup because frankly I miss doing them. So um, I'm going to do four and we're going to use some all different colors and see what we get. Oh my gosh, there's static electricity on this cup. <laughs> Look at it, it just wants to stay with me. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, these are the cups I got from Amazon that are way too thin, and I should have gotten more from the grocery store. But next time I'm there, I will. Um, I'm hoping it's a nice day in Nashville tomorrow, because Hubs and I, were going to go out for a drive. We're the Sunday drive kind of people. We like to go to state parks and see the waterfalls. And in the springtime, we've you know had a lot of rain, so over the winter, so it would be a good time to go. Alright, so I am probably going to just do the same colors. Um, I'm not going to go through what each color is. I know some people like to see that, but it's just a lot of work. And, yeah. So, I will um, put, the, I will just put this in fast forward, so if you want to watch it, you can. If you, if you don't, that's fine too. Um, but I'll probably go at least 8, maybe 20 times faster so you don't got to see me fill all these. I mean, I'm clearly, like, I'm using phthalo blue, I'm using Lucas Curl turquoise. Um, this is another turquoise, I'm not sure who makes that. This is chrome green by Lucas Krill. Um, and of course my cadmium orange will go in there. Also, some colors I have left over. I need a second glove. Some colors I have left over from the pour I just did, um, which is the Peridot, uh, the Ice Blue by Deco Art, and then this is the Modern Masters Sapphire, which is, there's hardly any in there, but I might just put that on top or something. So anyway, here we go. Okay, I'll let those go to the bottom. Two, they all seem to be going quite well. I will see if I can poke a hole in here. Maybe it'll float. As long as they float in that direction. Oh, this one's, it's not gonna float because it's broken. It's so cheap we made these cups. The two of them are floating. This third one's kind of floating on its own. Oh, actually, they're all floating now. So we'll just see. These two are going to bump into each other. That's fine. I don't have anything on the background, but if I need to add paint, I will. Because I'm just going to have to do that. Bring this here and do that. Ooh, I guess that's staying right where it is. And then I'll do that there. So, I always like to let it sit for a minute and sell and fill in the spots that maybe are missing. So let's let it do that, and I will be right back. 
Okay, we're back. I listened to the Van Halen song, Jump. So however long that is, that's how long I waited. <laughs> Since Alexa is in my room, I just tell her to play usually 80s music, and that's what she seemed to have chosen. I actually saw them in concert, I want to say, in 2014 when David Lee Roth was actually still with the band for like a reunion tour because I never got to see them in their heyday in the 80s and so anyway I saw them though um, and it was it was pretty cool um, if you like that kind of music I, I do and that's pretty cool so we're gonna stretch as much as we can here kinda gonna go both ways Try to fill in the spots that are empty. Um, of course, being me, I really like these colors together. And I think I might, I think I might, um, when we're done here, put a few balloon smashes in it. I saw, I can't think of her name. I think it's um, the woman with the YouTube channel Pouring Your Hearts Out. She's from Australia. Um, I think she does that. I think she put some balloon smashes in hers. And I thought that was really pretty. Um, it turned out very well. i just come over here one more a little bit. And now we'll go down this way. Um, you know me. If you've been watching my channel, I like bright colors. And I also like, I'm not going to say, uh, I like oceany colors, I like southwest colors, I like just really bright, vibrant color. Come on, come off that corner at the bottom, we're waiting for you. Anyway, we do have a lot of paint on here, so that's fine, I'm going to set it down. And I don't mind the zigzags. I like kind of like it um, when it zigzags. Some people do not. I'm just wiping off my hands. And I'm torch it and maybe put a few balloon smashes in it and see if it pulls up, you know, just lightly, not like a usual one. If it pulls up any magical colors. That's what I'm going to call them. So I'm just kind of trying to get the air bubbles. I'm not trying to create cells. I like big cells, not little cells. So you never know what you're going to get. But there's a ton of little cells coming up down here. But some bigger ones in here too. So I will take you down for a look when I'm done. can get this torch to work. Trying to use up the butane as I had said on another video because I have a brand new torch to use. And actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this up and move the holders up a little because it's getting all over my table, which I do not like. I think this is going to go in the bun rack, and I say that because my bun rack only has one free um, rack or tray right now, and I might need that for something else. So. so yeah, I'm just sort of sitting here watching it, watching it um, sell up. Let me take in so you can see some of these cells in here and here. And in here. But I'll put you on pause and we'll see what it does. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So it's been a few minutes. Um, I am going to use my balloons in some areas that I don't love. And we'll see if it makes it look better. I am. I should put gloves on. <laughs> So I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to 
just smash in some random places. Oh, well, there's some nice orange that came up there. Just some places I'm not in love with. I'm actually going to smash that harder so I can get more orange. Yep, that's what happened. I like that. And don't love this. That's better. Um, yeah, I like that it's pulling. The orange apparently has settled in some areas and it's just pulling it up. I love this blue, so not really touching that. Oh, that made it prettier though, in my opinion. Softer. So I do want some consistency to this though, so I can't just do them here and there. I mean, I guess I could, but let's do one here. It's hard to see. I guess this is a little too fluid. There, that's better. Sometimes I make my paints when I mix them, you know, the little, uh, little metallic separately. Just a little too fluid. I'll do one here. That's pretty cool. And hmm, I'm trying to see where I want to go. I took one off the end there. Let's go here. A lot of blue coming out. And again, I don't want it to become a balloon smash. I don't want to overkill, but I do want it to have some sort of design. Let's try right here. Oh, more blue. I did have a lot of blues in there. I mean, that's what they mainly were, right? Blues, greens. They're kind of actually like these cells, even though they're small, so I'm not touching that. Um, let's see. That's more blues. Alright, I think we did enough for the balloon smashes. I'm just trying to see where they are, so if they actually add anything, you know, to the composition. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's fine. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and be sure to hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. Uh, make sure you go ahead and uh, read in the description about the giveaway. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. Hope you have a great day. Hey y'all, it's Diane. So I forgot to take you down for a look at which I usually do. Um, this is a 12 by 24 canvas, so it's a little long. But um, I'm just going to kind of, first off, here is the top. Let's start there. Where I pulled more of that orange basically out of the corners. And then we're going down in here. I love all the colors together. I just do. I just do, darn it. So, yeah, so there it is. I will let you know when it dries in about a week. It's going to go on. I decided it's going to go on that last try because I want it to dry and not crack. So, anyway, thanks again for watching. Let me take you for a close up to these cells here. It's pretty, if my camera focuses. Yeah. All right. See you later, guys. Bye.